Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 has been revealed from some of the brand new Battle Pass skins that you guys are going to be able to get on your account along with the return of some pretty cool collaborations, which I know a ton of you guys are going to be super excited for, along with everything you guys need to know about Season 3 and the future of Fortnite. So trust me, you want to be sure you're staying tuned to the very end of this video as we're going to be going over everything and trust me, you don't want to miss out on any of this. But first, drop a like and subscribe right now if you want this to be your Fortnite account in exactly seven days time. And well, if you don't, this will be your account. So the choice is all yours. Do with that information as you will. And if any of you guys have been picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop, do consider using my support creator code, YTR Ray, as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3 is releasing in exactly one month's time and we've had everything revealed such as the key art for the brand new season of Fortnite, which now confirms it will be indeed be the post-apocalyptic theme, as we do actually have an idea of what exactly will be happening at the very end of season two, thanks to the storyline quests. We obviously do know here inside of season two, Zeus is trying to wipe out all of the mortals on the Fortnite island, and we do know there's actually going to be a giant hourglass that will pop up most likely around the Mount Olympus POI. Just like with the Titan Hand event, it looks like we will actually have to, as a community, destroy this hourglass. Looks like it most likely will result in the entire Fortnite island going through a fallout. It will lead to the brand new post-apocalyptic theme for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. Obviously, we do actually have this roadmap, which was accidentally leaked by Epic Games. I know tons of people do actually believe that this is fake. This will all be confirmed in literally just one week's time. Considering we will be getting a brand new season of Fortnite Festival with a brand new artist, and thanks to this roadmap, it does say we should be getting the arrival of Billie Eilish. It does seem like Fortnite Festival are actually teasing Billie Eilish with this actual background which obviously is green very much like billy eilish's trademark colors the brand new artist ends up being billy eilish this confirms that this roadmap is 100 real you can even see what looks to be the train on the fortnite island actually getting some makeovers in season three as this time around that actually does seem to be some sort of steam train those actually look like the doors are now open on it so i'm really curious to what exactly we will be able to do on the train inside of season three you can obviously see some other outfits that most likely will be inside of the battle pass as well obviously on this image itself as they do seem to be wearing some sort of scavenger gear which is definitely in line with the theme of the next season you can be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about that here looks like we got some trouble finally this game's been pretty quiet people in this house as well and i think this is quite possibly the worst mythic i don't even know why i bothered picking it up there's one As I said, worst mythic, I think, in the entire game. So with next season obviously having a post-apocalyptic theme, it does look like we're going to be seeing the arrival of a brand new Fallout collaboration, obviously from the popular video game and now TV series, as it looks like we're actually going to be seeing quite the amount of brand new Fallout skins arriving in the game, such as the arrival of a brand new Vault Boy skin, as we obviously covered that in the previous video, and also the arrival of a Power Armor skin, which is actually going to be a part of the Knights of the Brotherhood, if any of you guys played Fallout or even watched the TV show. And I don't know about this being a skin, but personally, I think it would have been better if it was some sort of item that we would have been able to use in a game. Obviously, with it being a power armor, we could actually get inside of. Well, who knows? They could even add it later on in the season, which I definitely do think would be pretty cool. But I'm still excited for the brand new Vault Boy skin nonetheless. It's obviously the mascot of the Fallout franchise. And obviously, we'll have other cosmetics, such as what looks to be a Pit Boy in the form of a brand new back bling, and also a chain sword in the form of his harvesting tool. So if any of you guys are a fan of Fallout, be sure to be on the lookout for that, as it should be arriving with the brand new season of Fortnite inside of the battle pass which i'm definitely super excited for and we got more people i think they may have low-key buffed the earth bending ability because i don't remember it doing as much damage as it is unless everybody i'm hitting is just really weak already but we do also have tons of other survey skins as well that are clearly post-apocalyptic theme with a lot of these actually being mutated creatures which definitely fits in line with the theme as whatever happens on the fortnite island it is safe to say that there will be some sort of radiation pois on the fortnite island considering we actually have this image of an airport location that will be arriving in chapter five and we may need to wear some sort of item to be able to traverse through this actual location without taking any damage which i definitely do think would be a pretty unique gameplay feature and if that is 
the case, it definitely would make sense that we're actually going to be getting some of these brand new mutated skins inside of next season's battle passes. We do actually have what looks to be a lot of different food skins. As we do actually have this pineapple character here alongside what looks to be a mutated turnip. And overall, tons of other skins as well, such as even a peas in a pod kind of outfit, which I'm definitely curious to see that in game. And these obviously could all be mutated thanks to radiation and obviously whatever happens on the Fortnite island when we move into season three, considering it's going to be post-apocalyptic. But we do also have information about another collaboration that will actually be arriving inside of season three, which I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be a super big fan of, so be sure you're staying tuned. And it looks like we have a chance to get a nice little third party here. So I think that's what we're gonna do. If only I had a sniper, it would have been a lot easier, I think. Super hard to actually hit people with this. I think there's another one of the avatar mythics here. We might have to go over and see what that is. Somebody else. Get down there. Jeez, they're all coming up here. Oh. Okay. You know what? Let's be a bit toxic. I'm gonna just lob you off the bridge. And we'll lob you as well. But it does look like a few of these skins are going to end up inside of next season's battle pass and also a few of them could also be changed last minute. As we do know, tons of skins were actually changed here inside of chapter 5 season 2, considering it does look like Ares was originally supposed to be in the battle pass. As it accidentally did say this on the actual trailer on YouTube for the Ares skin, which is obviously a part of the Fortnite crew for this month. And it did say that he was actually available inside of the battle pass, which obviously was not the case whatsoever. So obviously a skin was swapped out and obviously put inside of the battle pass instead, which I'm guessing was was possibly going to be the Korra skin, considering I believe she's the only collaboration skin we do actually have here in Season 2. So be sure to let me know down in the comments out of any of the brand new survey skins that obviously show apocalyptic themed outfits, who would you like to see arrive inside of Season 3? But obviously we did have the old roadmap for Chapter 5 revealed already, which actually do show us some pretty interesting things, such as the arrival of a brand new Marvel themed season towards Season 4, which I'm honestly pretty excited for, as it does look like it's going to revolve around the Fantastic Four. So hopefully this does bring a lot of storyline information back to the game considering we haven't had much of a storyline over the past few years and i'm honestly hoping that forney haven't completely ditched it now But not only that, it does actually look like inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3, we also will be getting a brand new collaboration, which is actually going to be for Pirates of the Caribbean, which I'm honestly pretty shocked that that's going to be arriving in the game. But obviously it does make sense considering Disney now actually own a part of Epic Games, thanks to the trailer we actually got a few months ago. And obviously this is actually all going to be kicked off with the brand new May the 4th event, as we do actually know we're supposed to be seeing a massive Star Wars update in LEGO Fortnite. Thanks to this image as well, which kind of confirms it looks like it's actually going to be a completely brand new game mode, which is actually going to be pretty cool, and I'm really curious to how this is going to compete with the LEGO Star Wars games. But obviously, we will have to wait and see when we get the release of that brand new update, which we do know is going to be going live on May 3rd. But also, to go alongside with this, inside of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3, it looks like we're also going to be seeing the arrival of a brand new Deadpool collaboration, which I know should cut to some good news for any of you guys who missed out on the original Deadpool skin from Chapter 2 Season 2, as he obviously was the secret skin inside of that season. As obviously, he did have very own agent room which obviously changed every single week on the build up until we were able to actually unlock the skin itself and don't forget that deadpool was also showcased on the actual disney trailer that epic games did actually have when it did come to brand new Fortnite updates so i'm definitely pretty excited as it does actually look to be linked to the brand new deadpool and wolverine movie which will be releasing in june i believe which means we're going to be seeing a brand new deadpool outfit obviously being the version from the movie and not the one that was inside of the battle pass and possibly also wolverine as well considering he's going to be one of the main characters considered his name is actually in the title which most likely is going to be Hugh Jackman's version from that movie which is definitely going to be super cool we got some other people over here only a few short players left I think we can catch a win as long as we play this house smart there you go I had to get rid of that uh the earth bending mythic it was just it was just doing nothing for me at all you go. Right. Come on, I'm running in and we're gonna clean up. Oh, nope. Okay. 
almost clutched out. I needed to reload bad there. But obviously, that brand new Deadpool update is going to be a pretty cool one, as we most likely will also see the return of his mythic items that we obviously had back in Chapter 2 Season 2, being his brand new dual wheel hand cannons. Consider we did get the unvaulting of the hand cannon here in Chapter 5 Season 2, and I'm definitely pretty excited to see the dual wielded one make a return as well. So expect Disney and Fortnite to have tons of collaborations arriving this year, considering we obviously do have confirmation of the brand new Star Wars update, the brand new Pirates of the Caribbean update, and also a brand new Marvel theme season, which looks to actually include all of them Fantastic Four as brand new skins that we will be able to get inside of that battle pass, which I'm definitely super excited for. But we do actually have one player here, so I think we're gonna go and try and grab this win. Hopefully he's not a sweat, because it looks like he's also going for a solo squad win here. And man, I actually just can't find this last player. He's hiding somewhere bad. Oh. Speak of the devil, there he is. You know, let me try to get this guy with a pickaxe. Or we try to go. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. But unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. And if you did enjoy the video, do drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.